Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful New Year's Eve and a wonderful New Year's Day. I am sure everyone is back on the plan. Yes, I am as well. <laughs> we all know what the holidays do, and I feel like between Christmas and New Year, all chaos breaks loose. So I am with you and I am back on the plan. I'm super excited about today's video. I am going to share with you what I eat in a day, what I drink, the whole shebang from start to finish. Let me just share with you that this video is sponsored by 310 Nutrition. This is not my first time doing a video with them. I have been working with 310 for a while and uh, I continue to order, order, order from 310 Nutrition because I love their products. Before we get rolling with how I get back on the plan, I just want to share with you to please hit the show more button below this video. That will give you my drop down box. You will want to click that link in my description box where you will receive 80% off your first shake starter kit, which means that you will be able to get that kit for only $19. In your starter kit, you will receive the 310 shaker cup. You will also receive this little pouch right here, which includes six sample shake bags, one meal plan ebook, a $10 gift card, and an opportunity with a live health coach. I actually gifted two of these starter kits as Christmas gifts for loved ones this year, as I know that most people are getting back on the plan. If you are like me, then you did your share of indulging on goodies, food, maybe a few adult beverages as well over the holidays. We all pack on a couple pounds, and when the first of the year comes, we are all eager to shed those pounds. What I want to share with you today is what I eat in a day, again, from start to finish. This is going to include everything I drink as well. So you will have the opportunity to see some of the 310 nutrition products that I do implement. I go way beyond the starter kit because there are many products of theirs that I do incorporate, most of them on a daily basis, as a matter of fact. Although I am not the type of person to make a New Year's resolution to lose weight because I'm generally in maintenance mode, I do know that I have put on a couple pounds. I also retain some of that water weight. So like everybody else, I do back it up at the beginning of the year the first couple weeks I'm really working hard to take off any of that excess and I encourage you to do the same and today I'm also going to share five tips that I share with my clients that help support getting off that little bit of weight even if you are not somebody that is just looking to take off the few pounds that you put on over the holidays but you are actually starting a complete overhaul or weight loss program these five tips are going to be great starters and they are going to be things that you are going to want to implement the whole duration of your journey and well beyond that because this is really a lifestyle thing that is what I promote that is also what I love about the 310 nutrition line is that they promote the lifestyle not so much that quick fix weight loss that we all know just really doesn't tend to happen. It doesn't generally stick, but if you are looking for long-term results, I am here to help you achieve that. My first tip that I want to share with you today is workout first thing in the morning. I can't stress this enough. If you watched my video last week where I shared 14 things that set successful people apart from those that don't succeed at meeting their goals, one of the things that I mentioned was they wake up early and they get the job done. We all know that throughout the day we are putting out fires. Ladies, we are burning the candle at both ends. There are so many distractions and so many things to pull us away. And I know in my history with working with clients, even those that have to be to work at 8, 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning, generally I can find where you can squeeze that workout in upon awakening. If you really want to get the biggest bang for your buck, you are going to want to work out upon awakening. Number two, to get that weight off fast or to get yourself moving and grooving into a weight loss 
regime is I want four workouts a week. I tell you what, there's a big difference between three to four. I want four. You can do it. If I can do it with my busy schedule, you can do it with your busy schedule. I'm plugging just as many hours behind a computer at a desk as you are and I'm getting the job done and I know you can too. Number three, if you want the biggest bang for your buck, pop those pounds off or get your body ready for a reboot. Intermittent fasting is where it's at. I've got plenty of videos that I've shared on intermittent fasting. I will have them all linked below. I want 18 hours. You can do it. It's gonna be tough at first, but what did I talk about in my success video? Sacrifice in saying no to one thing is saying yes to something else, you can do it 18 hours. If you can't make it to 18 hours, 16 hour minimum, nothing but water. Coffee, only if it's black, you can do this as well. Break that fast with some MCT oil, I'll show you that a little bit later. Number four, this is a no brainer, we all know it, eliminate the starchies. I want all elimination of anything white, any starchy carbs whatsoever. Even the healthy starchies, you may have to back off on. You know I love my breakfast quinoa and I will be showing that and incorporating a little bit of the 310 Nutrition Protein Powder as well. But if you are in major weight loss mode, you even have to watch some of the healthier starches. I love a great sweet potato, but it is starchy. Be careful. You can have too much of a good thing. I want lots of vegetables. That's what I am going to encourage. Asparagus would be a wonderful thing to incorporate because it's gonna flush a lot of those water calories away. And number five for my tip to take it off fast or get yourself rebooted is longer stretches between your meals. If you can get a slight little fast in between meals and start to get to that hunger, your body is going to tap into the stored fat. Tapping into stored fat is where weight loss really comes in. That is another reason why I want you working out first thing in the morning. I want you in a fasted state. Your body has nothing to burn because you have no food in your body. It only has stored fat to burn and that is what we wanna tap into. Let's take a look at what I eat in a day from start to finish. The very first thing that I start my day off with is my lemon ginger detox. You can get to the recipe for that on my website. I will have a link to it in the drop down box below as well as on the blog post. This is what I always have first thing. Sometimes I will actually drink this towards the tail end of my workout. For those of you that follow me, you know that I do my workout at 4 a.m. I do not include the honey because I am generally intermittent fasting, which is what I am doing today but I will have this before I even begin my coffee. And again, recipe you can get to in the drop-down box below. After drinking my lemon ginger detox, which again, sometimes is during my workout or sometimes I'm taking it into the shower with me post-workout, but after I have that, I move on to coffee. I drink my coffee black. I have three 12 ounce mugs, as you can see right here, and I put one packet of stevia in each mug. So three cups of coffee, one packet of stevia only in each cup. After I have had my three cups of coffee, I move on to the 310 Nutrition Slimming Detox Tea. I really love this. This is always on repeat. I would say this might be my fifth bag that I have picked up. And I would say that I have one of these sachets once a day. The only time I may miss a day is if I have to be out of the home early or I'm just out of town, I don't pack them to go with me. But I really do enjoy this. You can probably see by now that I do drink a lot of things in the morning between the lemon ginger detox and then I move on to my coffee and now this. I am always cold, so I just love warm drinks. The other little tip or tidbit that I will share with you is that if you are intermittent fasting, often having these type of drinks do keep you satisfied until you break that fast. So if you are somebody struggling, it's worth giving it a try. Again, everybody's situation is always going to be different, I assure you. So try it out, see what works for you. The most important thing if you're intermittent fasting is you just have no calories, no cream in your coffee, none of this, none of that. Everybody wants to make exceptions. It's very simple. If there's calories, you can't have it. 
A little while later, and I would say around 1030, that is generally when I break my intermittent fast, I will have a 310 apple cider vinegar. I will also have my glutamine select, and then I will have a shot of MCT oil by 310 Nutrition. And that is what will break my intermittent fast. I get asked often if MCT oil will break your fast. Yes, it will because there's calories in it. Again, when intermittent fasting, you have no calories calories in your system. Otherwise, you will break the fast. And I will have more information on intermittent fasting all linked down below this video. As you will see here, I am using a 310 shake in vanilla chai to add to my breakfast quinoa. I do not have my breakfast quinoa recipe on my website. Most of you already have this because I share it all the time on Instagram stories. If you would like it, just continue to watch me on Instagram stories and I will gladly get that recipe out again. So I am mixing it up. I always add a protein powder to it to make sure I am getting all the protein in that my body requires in a day. I love to add almond butter, cinnamon. I use almond milk. This is a very hearty and yummy meal. I love to have it first thing in the morning. I generally have this meal about 30 minutes to an hour after I have had my MCT oil to break my intermittent fast. So I would classify this as meal number one. You will see I have some chopped pecans on there. Let me just share with you, if you are in weight loss mode, you may not be able to have this hearty of a meal. This is very calorie dense. Uh, if you were doing like a Weight Watchers type program or anything like this, there's going to be a lot of points here. So bear that in mind. You have to remember, I am not in the process of losing weight. I am in maintenance. I also work out five times a week. My body will use this as fuel and it will burn with no problem. So always remember all situations are different. Such a good meal. Love this one. This is not always what I have for my first meal. Sometimes I have another thing for my first meal, but this is what I've currently been kind of going to, and that's what I'm going to share with you today. Here I am having one of my favorites. This is avocado egg salad. I used four whole pasture-raised eggs and one whole avocado when I made this. Sometimes I only use half of an avocado depending on its size. Now again, I have a vigorous exercise routine and I am also in maintenance mode, so I can have this hearty of a portion. If you can't because you're in weight loss, you would just back it up. Maybe you would do two eggs or three eggs. Maybe you would just do half of an avocado. You have to do what works for you. I generally will put my avocado egg salad over a bed of spinach and eat it that way. The reason that I do that is when you intermittent fast, often you are only eating about three meals a day and therefore you're not getting all your required vegetables in for the day. And because vegetables are very important to me, they are a key component to your nutritional needs. I like to have as many vegetables as I can, but with eating so few of the meals that I do in one day, I have to put them in wherever I can. So often I will serve this over a bed of spinach. I also sometimes will have like a cucumber throughout the day. I'll just cut it up, put a little Himalayan pink sea salt on it, and we'll be good to go. You've got to sneak those vegetables in wherever you can. For those of you that follow me closely, you already know that I am a fish and seafood eater. I am not really fond of chicken and I'm certainly not much of a beef eater. Maybe on a rare occasion, but generally it's fish. I eat a lot of wild caught salmon. Also, if I eat out, I generally order salmon. I do have a Tracy's Baked Salmon recipe on the blog and I will have that linked below. I also have a recipe for my roasted vegetables. Here, I am eating steamed asparagus. That is one of my favorites. I use a steamer and I eat a lot of greens. I also eat a lot of roasted vegetables where I use just a hodgepodge of whatever I would like. As you can see here, I have two pans of my roasted vegetables. You can also get to this recipe on my website and I will have it linked. So generally that is my final meal of the day a nice piece of salmon, and then a hefty dose of vegetables. 
I generally eat my final meal around 4.30. I know that may seem early for some of you, but we are all on different schedules and you always have to do what works for you. I generally intermittent fast for 18 hours and I like to start my eating window around 10.30 in the morning and I like to end my eating around 4.30 in the afternoon. I'm an early to bed, early to rise person, and that is what works for me. Again, modify everything to work for you. I will share that in my health coaching business, what I have found out, one of the biggest mistakes that people make and one of the reasons they fall short is because they are trying to do what everybody else is doing and they aren't modifying things to work for them. They're trying to eat foods that other people eat instead of what they like. Uh, if you don't like chicken, don't eat chicken. If you don't like fish, don't eat fish. Find what you do like. And that is one of the biggest mistakes. You will never stick with anything that really doesn't serve you. You will only stick with things that you like, things that work for your schedule and for your lifestyle. Let's talk a little bit about the Shake Starter Kit. I love to have products that I can tie myself over. I especially would say if you work outside of the home and you are trying to implement a new clean eating program, you need to have things like this on hand or you're gonna wind up at fast food restaurants and you will not be achieving your goals. That is what I love about the Shake Starter Kit. First of all, I love their products. I love the different flavors of the protein powders that they have. I love the caramel. I love the vanilla. I love the chocolate. I'm very lucky in the fact that I like a lot of different flavors. I'm not a fruit person. I really don't eat any fruit and I've never been fond of the fruit protein powders just because I'm more into like the chocolate or those type of flavors instead. But if you love, you know, they have strawberry, that would be a great one to incorporate. But I just think it's such a great opportunity at such an affordable price to give it a shot. 310 Nutrition has a wonderful website. They are very helpful, um, very user-friendly, and I just really recommend you look into it and take advantage of this offer today. Don't forget to click that link and all of the information will be there. There you have it, what I eat in a typical day. Now, do I mix things up a little bit? A little bit, but I'll be honest with you. Not a lot, really not a lot. I pretty much every day do the MCT oil and the apple cider vinegar. I used to drink the apple cider vinegar, but now that I have the tablets, I like to incorporate those instead, it's much easier. I'm pretty much sold on my breakfast quinoa. I have one other breakfast that I do enjoy with the Ezekiel English muffin. I've shared that in the past, but you know, I love my food, that's the thing. If you can make your food where you love it, you are going to be okay with pretty much eating the same things day in, day out. If you are used to the standard American diet, give yourself time. You've got to wean yourself off of the craving of those high toxic, sugary, starchy foods that are so loaded with chemicals that keep you addicted and coming back. Give it time. You can do this. Wholesome food is always where it's at, but I do believe that if you can supplement a little bit with some products to keep you going, to give you some flavor, a little boost, it always helps. 310 Nutrition products are super affordable, taste amazing, and their community is very supportive. They keep you motivated. They are in sync with what I preach and promote, and that is one of the reasons that I have enjoyed working with them so much. And again, don't forget to click the link in my description box down below. I will also have that link on the corresponding blog post where you can get 80% off your first Shake Starter collection and you can get back on the plan today or you can start executing those new goals for 2019. Please leave in the comment section below what you will be doing this year to get yourself back on the plan what do you implement or what things do you do to try to get off the excess weight? Do you step up your cardio? Do you add in workouts? Do you intermittent fast? Do you do a three-day fast? What do you do to get yourself back on track? What you do to take off that holiday indulging that mm, left the pants a little bit tight? We're all in this journey together and we're here to support one another. So leave your comments, suggestions in the drop down box below. And thank you to 310 Nutrition for sponsoring this video. I will see you soon in the next video. Take care.